Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm back in southeast Georgia. Um, I want to make today a pumpkin gingerbread trifle. Of course, you know, I don't want to do anything that's going to make my life easy. I had gone to the store this morning and thought that I had everything to do this with and discovered that I needed um, vanilla instant pudding, but instead I had gotten the pumpkin pie instant pudding. So I'm going to make uh, the vanilla pudding from scratch. Now the recipe will it will show that you need the instant vanilla pudding and it will be a lot simpler for you to do that. But since I don't have it and I'm having guests tomorrow for dinner, uh, I want to have this for my dessert. So I'm just going to make the pudding and it also called for a gingerbread mix and I don't have that either. But I do have a spice cake mix and so I'm going to do mine with the spice cake. So the first thing I want to do is to give you the list of ingredients that I am using today. Not what's in the recipe necessarily, but what I'm going to be doing. So let's get started and get this put together. I will be using eggs, water, vegetable oil, spice cake mix, pumpkin pie mix, brown sugar, ground cinnamon, granulated sugar, frozen whipped topping, ginger snap cookies, corn starch, salt, vanilla extract, ground ginger, and crystallized candied ginger. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is to get my cake in the oven for this. Uh, I have the oven preheating to 350 and I have my cake mix. I'm going to follow the directions for the cake mix on the back of the box. But I also am going to add a little extra to my cake mix. I don't know how it will turn out, but I am going to add some candied crystallized ginger to my mix as well as some additional ground ginger. So I'm going to get started with this. I think I'm going to add um, about a half of a tablespoon of ginger, ground ginger to my mix. I also forgot to tell you in the ingredient list that I will be using milk to make my pudding, my vanilla pudding. I didn't have that in my list of ingredients. I'm going to chop the candy ginger that I have. I just want it chopped up into small pieces. And I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of cinnamon to this. I sprayed my pan with Baker's Joy. Uh, this is a 9 by 13 pan and I will get this in the oven and it will cook probably for about 25 minutes or so. Just give it a shake and make sure everything's level and I'm going to put this in the oven and bake it and I'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to make my vanilla pudding and so I put my granulated sugar, my cornstarch, and a fourth teaspoon of salt, and two and a half cups of milk. Okay, I want to cook this over medium heat. You want to stir it constantly if you decide to make your own vanilla pudding. I will post the recipe for this um, just in case if you decide to do it and you don't have any vanilla pudding or do like me and get the wrong thing when you go to the store. And it's not like 
I live just a mile from the store. I'm, I'm a little ways from it, so it's not real convenient just to hop in the car and run over there. Okay, that has started to thicken. So now I will add my vanilla to this. I'm going to set it off the heat. And I will add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, and now I will cook it for two or three more minutes. Okay, it's been almost three minutes. So I'm going to take this off of the heat and I'm going to transfer it to a plastic bowl so that it can cool quicker. I'm going to set this in a pot of ice water to try to cool it down. Okay, I'm going to set that in there in hopes that it will help it cool down quicker. I can't go any further with my trifle until this gets cold because I can't mix that with my other ingredients until it's cool. So when that gets chilled down and my cake is out of the oven and cooled off then I will be back. Okay I baked the spice cake but I did not like the way it turned out and so I am going back to my gingerbread cake recipe that I started to do and then I thought well it'll be quicker with the spice cake. Well you know how the story goes. Nothing runs smooth sometimes and today seems to be one of those days. But anyway, I will not be defeated. <clears throat> For the gingerbread cake, you will need all-purpose flour, bacon powder, ground ginger, ground cinnamon, ground cloves, salt, baking soda, grandma's molasses, hot water, granulated sugar, butter, two large eggs, vanilla extract, and a baking spray. I am going to get started on my gingerbread cake and so the first thing I've got to do is to combine my flour and um, my bacon powder, the ginger, the cinnamon, the cloves, salt, and baking soda. So let me get that started. I should have done this to begin with. But like I've said before, live and learn, die and forget it all. That is becoming my greatest motto. Okay, now I'm going to whisk that all together. While my oven is preheating, now I will get this all mixed together and get it ready to go in the oven. This gingerbread cake recipe has a cream cheese frosting if you're serving just the cake, but I'm making this trifle. I am trying to make this trifle. And so I won't be doing the frosting that goes on top of this cake recipe. Okay, so I take my hot water and a cup of molasses. And I will Pour this in, stir it together until it's fully combined. Okay, I have to melt a stick of butter and so I'm going to pop this in the microwave. Okay, I'm going to put my molasses and water 
in with the butter. I'll add the sugar, the eggs, and vanilla. Whisk this just until it is smooth. All right, and so now I'm going to pour the dry mix in with this. And I'm going to mix this just until there are no dry streaks left. Okay, and so now I'm going to spray a 13 by 9 pan with Baker's Joy, and I'm going to pour this into the pan. Okay, I'm going to set this in the oven at 350 degrees and let it bake 25 to 30 minutes and then I'll be back with it. All right, my gingerbread cake is done baking. And test it. Yes, it is. It's done. Okay, so this has to cool completely before I can assemble my uh, trifle. So I will be back in a minute. Okay, you want to make sure that you have the pumpkin pie mix, not the pumpkin puree. Uh, you're going to take the pumpkin pie mix and I'm going to put it in with my vanilla pudding that I made along with a, a fourth of a cup of brown sugar and a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I will post this recipe below the description in the description box. Okay, and you're just going to mix this all together. I'm going to whisk this because my pudding has got some little lumps in it. I actually think I will just beat it with my little hand beater. That looks good. I think that gets the lumps out of it. The most of them anyway. While my cake is cooling, I'm going to set this in the refrigerator and let it chill, and then I'll be back. I have decided that I will complete this trifle in the morning because my cake has to be totally cool. And I got to thinking, it has ginger snap cookies on top, and I, I don't think I want to have those on there overnight because I'm afraid they'll get soggy. So I'm going to finish this video in the morning. I'll put my trifle all together and I'll let you see how it looks at that point. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay, uh, it's morning time and I'm getting ready. I'm going to assemble my trifle. My cake is totally cooled and I have everything ready. So I'm going to start now and layer it up. So let's get it going. Now I'm going to start by cutting my cake into bite-sized pieces. Okay, I'm going to put this in the bottom of the trifle bowl. This gingerbread cake is good. I, 
I ate off the end of it last night because it was more than what the recipe calls for. So I, I tried it and it's really, really tasty. So I will also post the recipe for this gingerbread below in the description box along with the pudding that I made. Um, this would not be a complicated thing to make if you get all the proper ingredients that it calls for and not do like me. But anyway, it's okay. It's going to be really good, I think. Okay, and this is my pudding mixture. And I put half of this in over the gingerbread. And now I will do a, a layer of whipped topping on top of this. I bet this is going to be so good. I can't hardly wait to try it. It better be good after all the aggravation it's been to make it due to my forgetfulness and stupidity. Well, not really. Not being stupid, just not paying close enough attention to what I was doing about getting the proper ingredients. Okay, and now I'll do the next layer of gingerbread. Okay, and then the remaining pudding. I'm going to get a spatula so that I can get all of that out. Okay, and then the remaining Cool Whip. Now I will top this with some ginger snaps. Okay, that is so pretty and it looks so good. Okay, my effort is finally completed with my pumpkin gingerbread trifle. This looks absolutely divine, and I can hardly wait to try it, but I'm not going to dip into it until my family gets here later today. Um, I may do a taste test. I don't know. I can't promise you because it's going to be kind of crazy, but anyway, I just uh, appreciate you watching my video. This concludes it. And if you haven't subscribed, how about subscribing to my channel? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. Leave me a comment and I'll reply to you. And until the next time, this is B-Boss saying, May the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. And until we see each other again, you take care. But I'll be back really soon with another video. Bye. Okay. My day is over with with my family, and as you can see, do you think the trifle was a success? I think it was. So I'm going to do a taste test for you. I've already tested it, but I'm going to do one for you. So I'm going to dip me up some. And so here is to you. Pumpkin gingerbread trifle. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I went through an ordeal making this trifle. But, I think I'm going to go through the same ordeal again when I make it again because this is so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is absolutely delicious. 
I hope that you will give this recipe a try. I'm going to post it in the description box below. I'm also going to post the pudding recipe that I used as well as the gingerbread cake that I made. Now, if you want to do the shortcut version, get the gingerbread mix and instant vanilla pudding, that's fine too. But I think when I make this again, I'm going to do it the same way. I'm telling y'all, this is so good. And you can see this bowl was full and it is almost completely gone. So, I got great reviews at my lunch table today. And so, I'm going to sign off now for real. You take care and I will see you soon. Bye.